Yeah, why I chose UWA to come here, it was because uh, the first year program, and that draw my attention, because you can start from zero and go really make history in university. And uh, the team, the first year was, was good, but we didn't have a lot of chemistry. And right now, after three years, I think like six seniors in the team, we know what people are going to do when they get the ball. So that's easier for us to play with a lot of, with the team that's three years together. Yeah, I will miss everybody. And just when I come here in America from a different country, your team becomes your family. So I'm going to miss every single one. And I love my team. What's, what's the legacy that you're hoping to leave behind um, for this program? Really just leaving the standard, um, you know, the winning mentality. Um, I think we started even the first year um, being brand new. We started that winning mentality um, with like a 12 and 7 record, which is very good for a first year. And um, I just think that's the most important thing just um, working hard on and off the field. That's the biggest thing. Uh, what are you looking forward to most Friday night? Um, just the, the gravity of the game that it could. It kind of either it's going to make us a number two spot or we're going to have to play that playoff game on Tuesday. Um, I love that it's uh, that this game has gotten that huge, you know, that uh, influential on our season. Just, uh, you know, it being senior night, our last home night um, of regular season. Um, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely ready for this game. Well, to be fair, like we have six seniors graduating this this year, for sure it's gonna be tough for the team to lose us. But like we have a great chemistry, like even with us, they'll they'll do great. I'm sure coach doing a good job with us. Like we've built so much in this program that is gonna follow in the years and everything. For sure, we never won uh, the JC yet, so living with a ring would be uh, the greatest thing for for everybody. What is what does this West Alabama program mean to you? I mean a lot. I, I came to West Alabama first because it was a first year program. I wanted I wanted to be part of the history of the UWA soccer. So it's been great so far. I hope to end it uh, on a JC title, and that will be great. What about your emotions uh, for Friday night? Uh, I'm I'm pumped. I'm ready to go, and I I hope the whole team is. I know the whole team is. Just for the seniors, everybody, we're all ready to go. We're pumped, ready to go. What kind of advice you're gonna leave the two the, the, the keepers that are gonna remain here? What kind of advice you give these guys? Uh, hard work, definitely hard work. Hard work definitely pays off. And every time you think, every time we think that it's only gonna get worse, it's just, coach is just pushing us to get better. Man, to be honest, I'm gonna miss the whole team. To be honest, like it's not it's not just one person. It's our whole team. We all came together this year. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of excitement going into Friday night, knowing that uh, you know, if we win, we control our own destiny. So, I think everybody's looking forward to Friday night. That's to because your age, they're ranked number 22. It's gonna be a good game. So hopefully, we get a lot of people out there and uh, get the win. What's gonna be the key to the win? Uh, I think it's gonna be uh, team chemistry, staying together. You know we've been uh, we've been in this position before, so as long as we stay the course, you know, defense first, and then because uh, the goals is gonna come. I mean we got guys on uh, our team that could put the ball in the back of the net, so we're not worried about the offense. I don't know. I've enjoyed playing with all these guys, especially. I, I think that there'll be a big gap in the team for a year or two uh, with the guys that are leaving, because I, I think that's a really good core group. I'm glad to be a part of it. Anybody, any underclassmen guys that you're going to leave the enforcement, enforcer title to? I think Zach's the enforcer on the Trailer. team. Yeah. That's a quick one. So, uh, yeah. man, y'all know it. <laughs> and Box, Boxy. Boxy. He's going to be a monster next year. He's a monster this year. But. It's a fantastic group. When you look at it, just three years ago, we didn't even have a team, you know? And we came together, and this group came up and started it from scratch. And just look at it, we started a winning mentality right away. And that's thanks to all them players there. You know, the seniors who came in, they've bought into the program, our philosophy here, what we want to do. And we just have to thank them because they've came in every day, wanted to get better. And it just shows in our program that we've come along in just a few years, getting ranked up first year, finished second seed. 
got to the semi-final, second year, finished third seed, got to the, the final, and this year we're hoping to finish off on high. You know, we've we've been, as I was telling everyone this year, this conference is a very solid conference, you know, anyone could be anyone, but our group of players, I think we're ready, and, you know, they're really looking forward to Friday night, and we understand it's a job we must do, but they're pumped and they're ready, and uh, we've been looking forward to this all year. Eating. But I have to say, I just have to thank them seniors, this group of seniors, because it's a special group. They're a team of leaders, what they do on and off the field, and uh, they've really just propelled this programme from, from day one, you know, 2012 till now. And you see us, we're getting nationally ranked. We're up there, we can finish second seed going into the conference tournament, possibly. And, you know, for senior night, that'd be a great way to hit towards Pensacola.